For more on this, we want to bring in uh, what's happening on the latest with AI products. Bring in our guest right now is Michael Wolf. He's, of course, the CEO and co-founder of Activate. And from an investor's perspective, as you kind of figure this out and try and figure which way to go, do you think this is going to be a situation where the big tech guys are the ones that dominate? Or is this going to be startups that can really take over the scene and, and be there? Well, this is the race is going to be to start off with. It's going to be between the, the big tech companies. But what's fascinating about it is, apart from OpenAI and Microsoft, they're all going for scale. And essentially, they're going to evangelize before they're going to monetize. So um, Google is giving away, for the most part, to, to people. It's giving away their Gemini product. They're going to launch. They've already announced they're going to launch Gemini Ultra. Meta, Meta's Llama 2, which is, which is, for the most part, open source, and, they're, and, and it's free. And so, and, and Adobe, yes, Adobe's charging $4.99 for Firefly, which is really the most fascinating to me because it's, it's on top of what they're charging for, for their creative suite. Uh, and they're already implementing and in integrating AI, like automatic fill and other things for, for creators. This, this feels different to me than, than past tech revolutions. And that's because there's such a limited number of the engineers who are going to be the ones driving most of the, the right. new and different changes. From what I hear in the background, there's this huge battle to capture the most of these engineers. If you can get them in-house, that's how you win. In the past, we've seen companies buy the startups. Regulators aren't going to allow that to happen. But what Microsoft effectively did was buy OpenAI without buying it. Yeah, absolutely. Essentially, um, they've been able to corner the market, and they're getting money out of it in, 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 in really in three ways. One of them is whatever they're, they're selling on um, ChatGPT, Copilot, as was just mentioned. And at the same, at the same time, um, it's, it's not only that, but it's also going to be their cloud service. There, which is which is growing. I mean, the hyperscalers, these companies with large amounts of compute power, they're going to do very well in this environment. Mac and it costs and it costs a ton of money to get that computing power, which is why maybe you have to have deep pockets if you want to play in this game. Absolutely. And to your point earlier about about developers, there's an old line that the tech company with the best technologists wins. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference between what the big guys can do and what startups can do. Michael, what about Google? Because you know they're still behind. That Gemini launch was a little messy. I know that the lower versions of it kind of worked out, but then they put out that video where they kind of faked how it actually works. It's unclear, but you know we keep we've been hearing from them for the past I don't know nine or ten or eleven months, telling us you know it's going to be great. It's going to be great. We're going to put it in search. They're still not there yet. They're still behind OpenAI and Microsoft. I mean, is that something to be concerned about, or do you, are you confident they can catch up? Well, they're, they're, what they're trying to do is by not charging individuals to use the service, they're trying to get to some level of scale, but Microsoft is way, way ahead of them. And everybody, the street is very concerned the extent to which the first place you go for a search is to, is to chat GPT or other places before you go. And in fact, our firm's research shows there's a large number of people who want to begin their journey on search with chat GPT and then go to Google. But it's not happening yet because, I mean, you know, when this first came out, like Bing, uh, you know, Satya Nadella came out saying we're going to gain market share, right. never materialized, Google is still dominant. I mean, how do they leverage that and incorporate this in the search? Well, I mean, right now, what they're, they are incorporating GPT into, um, in, into Bing. I, I think that the, the challenge for both of those companies is the extent to which they're able to attach ads to, re, to search results through AI, and we're yet to see that. I mean, their entire system ba business is based on your ability to, as you're searching, for them to, to, to supply ads. Um, we don't know where this is going to go. I, we believe as a firm that it's more likely that people will start their search <laughs> on, uh, on AI models and IA services before they're going to go to search. Do they, do they rely on, uh, from that perspective, look, Google's in a better position as the search engine of dominance. Um, but then Bing has open AI behind it at this point. What, what's more important to have the open AI or to have the already strong foothold in search where people would automatically go there? Yeah, I, I think that we're going to see over time some of the traffic that's at Google going to Bing. It's, it's not going to be huge amounts, but a little bit, a, a, a piece of a share of search is worth 
so much more. And the other piece of this is Google has gotten very pricey for advertisers yeah. and being for many of our clients is much lower priced. So That's we right. are going to see um, search share move as well as ad share. But, but overall, it's not going to be substantial versus Google and, and anything else in the rest of the market. But it's a big pot of money, and if you can get a little bit of it. Right. Is a, that's and you want to talk about so. footholds in the enterprise, Microsoft has the foothold that Google yeah. just doesn't have, and maybe in certain areas, but it's, it's Microsoft. Yeah. And we, we've yet to see what Amazon will do, despite the fact that Amazon has this massive, scaled um, AWS business.